what's up guys welcome to bro beats and today i'm gonna try to make a young bands type beat now this beat is gonna be very simple all right to the point where it might sound similar i just from experience i just know um and i know people want to know how to make that like descending piano sound so i'm gonna put that in there too um but this beat is gonna sound very empty because it's only three sounds and you're only gonna hear the piano pretty much so we just get started here are my drums here's the you know sounds we have and i'm in a minor so we create that kind of like sad sound 76 bpm all right that's what i'm using i will have a download link in the description for like the zipu package or the flp so you can download that so let's do the strings first um i'm just gonna go downward with the chords just create that sad sound i'm just trying to find something i like here All right, so I like that. I'm gonna keep it. So what I want to do is add a delay effect, but I don't want to actually pull up a plugin. So I'm just gonna hold Shift and click and drag. All right, and put it in the middle. And then let me pull this up so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna hold Alt in here, and then scroll down about halfway, somewhere around there. All right, and it's gonna create like a a delay effect, but it's not really delay. All right, so now let's do the piano. And this is the part where it's gonna sound similar to the actual beat. And I'm gonna copy this over to the piano just so we get it right. Okay, very simple, no, not complicated. Now let's delete these parts. Okay. And once I show you how to do the melody, I'm gonna show you how you can change it. It's not really hard to do, but I'm just showing you. All right, so this is what this sounds like, all right? all right so now this is what i want to show you with the melody in the song you're gonna it's gonna sound like that 100 percent of the time just because of how the melody is all right to get that descending sound you're gonna have to do the half notes because it's gonna sound very happy if you do this All right, it doesn't sound spot on. So if you want that sound, you wanna have to do something like this. All right, and it doesn't matter where you put it, it's gonna sound the same. It's just gonna be a higher octave or a lower octave, pretty much. All right, so if you wanna change it up and you don't want it to sound the same, okay but i'm gonna keep mines like this just for the video's sake you can put this put this up an octave okay and you can add extra stuff but like i said this is a simple beat so you don't have to add all this all right so you can put extra stuff you know change up this and all this stuff so And I want to actually see what that sounds like when we finish the beat. But yeah, that's how you do that sound, okay? You want to put it on a half note so it sounds sad and it goes down. All right, not to delete something here. Nope. All right, so that's how you do that. So now let's go to the flute. And this is very simple. All I'm going to do is use the same notes here. And I'm probably going to use these two just by the looks of it because I see that a lot. All right, in this whole thing. So we're going to use that and just try to make like a simple background melody.
All right, very simple. Let's copy that. And over here, I want to go up. So let's try this, see if that works. And the reason I'm putting it off the grid, which is like these black lines, let's create a little bit of bounce in the beat. So it's kind of like off a little bit. So let's see what that sounds like. All right, that's decent. Now the drums, let's pull this down here. And I think we got, let's see how much is this? Okay, so we can put these drums here. Let me zoom in for you. Another one. All right, so let's do the drums. Just gonna put a clap in. Now this part is very simple. To create the bounce, like in the song, all you want to do, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos on this, you just want to space things out, give everything its own place. So you want to kind of follow this uh, formula. So like something like this, you see the space and then you give the snare its own space. You can see everything has its own place. The only exception to this is usually like the hi-hats and the 808 because there's not really much you can do as you can see. Oh wait, you know, that's there's where the 808 will usually go. So there's not too much you can do. So something like this. All right, so I'm gonna just do something here. Pull this down here. All right, so that's it for the drums. You can see it's very simple. All right, when you break it down, it's really not much going on. So now the bass, okay? And I'm gonna actually go onto the melody part and do the bass because we have the scales here. So right click, go to the piano roll, and let's just try to find somewhere. And I'm gonna start on C sharp because I think that's where the top, wait, wait. I think that's where, yeah, okay. And if I do these notes, it's gonna be way too deep to like hear it so that's why i'm gonna go up on the top of these chords for the um, 808 melody let's go back here what's up All right, so let's copy this over. And then I'm gonna try to do something different on the side, maybe add some extra parts. And then maybe I wanna try putting this up an octave and see what that sounds like. So maybe let's do something like this. If it doesn't sound good, I'll just delete it and keep this. All right. And this is, we're pretty much done now. So let's. That might be doing too much, but 
Nah, it's alright. It'll be fine for him. I'm gonna just keep it the same because I don't really, I'm not really feeling that too much. So I'm gonna just leave it like this. That's pretty much the beat. All right. So now I'm gonna just quickly um, map it out to just show you, maybe just, you know, if you haven't seen my structure video, I'll just show you real quick on how I would structure this beat or something. So let's just put this. All right. And we just keep this how it is. We don't need to do, we don't, we don't have to be complicated. So. And this is just a quick one. This isn't like official structure tutorial part. So I'm gonna just copy these over and just do the outro part and kind of like a verse part. How long is this? A minute, something. All right, so we can keep this like that. How long is this? 12 seconds is good enough here. That should be good. So this can be the the hook all right and then this part can be the verse something like that all right that can be the verse and then you can just copy this over and i guess we can just pull this down no let's just keep it like that all right and that's how you can just quickly structure it it should be about two minutes yeah that's good and then we can fade this part out all right come on fl work with me now You can just fade the ending out like that, and that can be the beat. And I'm gonna just play this part up until right here, about here. And I'm gonna try this real quick. We'll be hitting about 13 minutes. Let me pull this up. And I just wanna see, oh, I forgot, I gotta put the. I just wanna see what this sounds like all the way up here. not bad i kind of like that one more all right so after the video i went ahead and messed with the melody a little bit so i'm inserting this part into the video all right and i'm gonna just show you what i did it's not anything like super great it's just something different that you can do and i'll show you the melody that i uh did just something different um you probably just saw me say like i like this part where i put it up here so i just incorporate that into the melody and let me is this on yeah i'm gonna just show you what that sounds like real quick All right, nothing major, just something, you know, just spice it up a little bit so it's not the same. All right, so if you like the video, you know, comment, like, and all that good stuff. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.